all its intrigue, we can bring in Dana Lewis, who is live for us in London. Hi, Dana. There's actually another issue here that we haven't even looked at. Uh, the man who developed this data mining app now says he's being used as a scapegoat. How so? He does indeed. This is Dr. Alexander Kogan, who worked in the psychology department at Cambridge University. And all of this starts in 2014 when he goes to Facebook and he says he's trying to do research. He develops an app which is called This Is Your Digital Life. And he tells Facebook, according to, hi to him, that this is to model human behavior through social media. Facebook comes out and says the deal was that he would not share this with any third party uh, people. Now, Kogan has been interviewed and he says, look, this is all a big surprise to me. I would be shocked if this was used in any way to influence the American election or by the Trump campa campaign. And he says when he gave the information, Andrea, to Cambridge Analytics, he was assured that all of this was legal. Okay, so, yeah, where does this go from here then? Because it's not really clear if any actual laws have been broken. In about 50 different directions at once right now, I can tell you a lot. I mean, there's so much happening here in the United Kingdom and also in the United States. But, you know, as of today, there is a parliamentary committee here on media. They are meeting. They are going to hear from a former operations manager at Facebook through some kind of video link up. So he may be uh, speaking to them from the United States. The information minister, uh, as was mentioned in the report before me, is trying to get into Cambridge Analytics to look into their, their databases and their servers. Cambridge Analytics... Um, passed, uh, d failed to meet a deadline on Monday to open the doors to the government. The government is searching, is getting a, a search warrant, and one would think that they would have that pretty soon if they have the grounds to go in there. In the meantime, there are lots of different investigations opening up in the United States, uh, some of them by the Attorney General's offices of several states, but the most important one probably is by the Federal Trade Commission, which had an agreement with Facebook back in 2011 on how it's supposed to share data and, and protect the privacy of its users. Users, it may be that Facebook uh, has not adequately protected the data of, of its users. And if that is true, the Federal Trade Commission could slap Facebook with a massive, and it's important to say massive, fine. So that is a very big federal investigation now into this. Okay, but a massive fine for one of the richest companies in the world might not be that big of a deal, Dana. Let me, I mean, this is the thing here. Dirty... This really almost just comes down to very dirty campaigning. That's nothing new for us. Is dirty campaigning just adapting to social media? Is it dirty campaigning to mine the, 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 data's, the, the data of your potential voters? Is, is it but, legal? I mean, we've got to remember ethical? that a lot of I mean, these I think users probably... ticked that box and said they knew that this information was going to be shared. They put themselves out there. They may not, they may not, Andrea, have understood where it was being put out, right? And that's really the key question. As a user, I mean, you're a bit of a deer in the headlights here. I mean, do you understand where your data is going? And Kogan has said, look, this micro-targeting of information data mining is done by hundreds of firms. So how, what have we done wrong? So it poses all of those questions for us. And I think there's going to set some real ethical precedents at the end of this. And it's going to set some legal precedents too as to what you're allowed to share, what you're allowed to take from the user who agrees to give his data, but all, his or her data, but also his friends. Are you allowed to access their friends and third party data even though somebody else has given you permission, did you give permission for your friends' data to be used as well? Those are key questions here. Okay.